SEM has been in business probably over 50 years. We make metal powders. Uh, specifically here, we make mostly copper powders. We supply the uh, chemical industry, the automotive industry, the plastics industry. It's everywhere. It's in your home, it's in your refrigerator, it's in your dishwasher, it's in your garbage disposal. Everywhere you think about, there's a small motor. It more than likely has bronze bearing made from this plant. Percentage-wise, we're about 40% export, 60% domestic, which is a very good strength for us. We're, we're basically a recycler. We take that recycled material and generate it into new materials. So uh, our, our copper raw materials are coming from uh, the housing market, plumbing industry, anywhere where quote-unquote scrap can be found. When we found we were going to be acquired by private equity, we thought, hey, this is an opportunity that maybe we can be more autonomous and run the business the way it ought to be run. They came in with a certain philosophy, gave us that philosophy of how they wanted to see the business grow. When we mentioned growth opportunities, both organically and through acquisition, you could see in their faces that there was a genuine interest there. So I think generally, uh, most of the managers felt very comfortable with Platinum. When they bought us, they uh, were buying a very experienced management team. Most of us have been here in the 30-year range. And they trust us to run our own business. They said up front that they did not want to be experts in copper powders. What I like about them is, is they, when they see the goal, they go after the goal. And they do have that energy. It's, it's almost unyielding energy. It's a relationship that we have where sometimes they're feeding us information in terms of potential acquisitions. Sometimes we're feeding them. So it, it could come from a, a variety of ways, but it's always that communication that we have that's always been important. Having this private equity ownership, our own destiny is determined by our decisions. In difficult times, you know, you have to say, well, how can we turn this into a positive? What we did during the economic downturn is we said, you know, why don't we start looking at potential acquisitions at this time? Because now the buy is going to be low with the potential being high. And that's what we started to focus on. It was Barton and our people going to Platinum and saying, you know, we see this opportunity. Um, you need to pursue it. I concentrate on the business and I just say, hey, here's a potential acquisition, why don't you guys talk to them? Platinum really is strong if you want to say recognizing value in a company or a product. They're in the business of buying businesses and so when the businesses presented themselves, they jumped right on it. AccuPowder and SCM, you know, before this, this transaction ever happened, we always assumed we were fierce competitors. And once we started doing the diligence within AccuPowder, we, we, we very quickly saw that we're actually much more complementary than we were competitors. Back in the summer of 2009, we approached uh, Ecker Granules to purchase their red metals business. So that would be the same business that, that SCM and AccuPowder compete in. And uh, to our surprise, we were given the opportunity to uh, go over to Germany and uh, talk to them about the red metals business. And it went from acquiring a solvent entity of the red metals to now dealing with an insolvency administrator and acquiring the entire Eka Granules business. This year has been an exceptional year because, uh, because of the recent acquisition of Eka Granules. Eka bought to us new products such as aluminum, which was very, very nice for us to have a broader portfolio of products. It's been exciting for us to get involved in another type of business and also to see the opportunities in copper powder in Europe. Customers in, in general, I think, um, have benefited because they, they see that SCM or Eka Granules can provide them with different products that perhaps in the past they weren't able to get from a single supplier. My name is Tom Murphy. I'm Senior Vice President of the Red Metals Division of SCM Metal Products. I'm Barton White. I'm the CEO of SCM Metal Products and Eka Granules. I'm Susan Montgomery, VP of Finance for SCM Metal Products.